Uh, welcome back to Footy Furnace, presented by Crown. On Thursday night, it was the Brisbane Lions by 22 points over Melbourne. Let's get straight into it with the footy's first rebuttal segment, Fan the Flames. All right, the other night, the big talking point after Thursday night's game was the incident between Harrison Petty and Noah Answorth. And understandably, the journalists and the media and fans wanted to know what went on. This was Simon Goodwin's response after the match. Did he? No, I didn't, didn't see it. What, what happened? Yeah. Probably ask Fags when he comes in, that's up to them. Funnily enough, he didn't see it. Let's listen to what Chris Fagan had to say after the game. Did he? A couple of years ago. Did, did you see that? No. Nah. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to have a look at it first before I, I make any comment on it. What a shock. Neither coach saw an incident which would have been the very top of the agenda for any news reporter reporting on this match. Here's the situation here, Lee and Jimmy. I've got no issue with the journalist in the room, but in future, it's very easy for a journo to go up and say, no worries, Chris. No worries, Goody. Let's look at this segment right... Let's look at this incident right now. Why can't they do that? So I'm flaming not just all journos in the room then, but all future journos who, when a coach says, I didn't see it, don't go and show that coach the incident as it is, including me, Jimmy. I'll be doing that. Have you just done a Bomber Thompson? All of you. All of you. All of you. <laughs> <laughs> including all of you. me. I wasn't there, so that's on me as well. But in future, we have a way around this. Lee, in 1990, when you didn't see what happened, there was no way around it. Now, we have what we call iPhones, and we have to show the coach the incident so they can comment on that incident. Those press conferences will be going for three hours. <laughs> You'll be showing every incident. What do you think of that, Mark? What do you think of that free kick? No, I think that's a terrible idea, Thompson. <laughs> you just don't want to see things. That's, well, the, that's the coaching code. Well, Tom, let's have a look at a bit of the timeline now. Why the uh, Brisbane Lion players keep going at uh, yeah. Harrison Petty. Yeah. And this is where it all kicked off, obviously, up there at the Gabba. 2022. He, 2022. He's gone pretty hard there at Zorko. Whether who had words first, it, yeah. it doesn't really matter. One went back at the other, and Petty uh, took a pretty serious offence to it, as well as a lot of the Melbourne players. You look in future games going forward, and he's giving just as much as uh, it was given to him. So I'm probably saying, if you don't want to be involved in the, the chit for chat and all that sort of stuff, Stay out of it. Yeah. But, you know, the old, don't go to the circus if you don't want to see the clown sort of stuff. So, <laughs> if you don't want to get all this, and Answorth went back, you know, yeah. there's a lot of yakking going on in the game. If you don't enjoy the yak, don't start it. So, where's the line then? Well, because there's been, I don't know exactly what was said in the first place, but where is the line? Because if it gets personal, surely that's too far. Yeah, if it gets personal. No. It's a personal game. No, about, my, about family members. My, well, about family members. That's a different game. Yeah, that's a different That's what I'm, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm referring to. My first coach. It's yeah. an impersonal game when you get over the white line. Yeah. And it's a game between the physical, the mental and the emotional. Yeah. And therefore, there's a contest going on. So, what are you going to say? Like, there, there's some things you just say, oh, that's a bit unsafe. Just, you know, just don't do it. I, this probably goes under that category of, yeah. it's probably unnecessary. But yes. it's also no big deal. No big in deal. In my opinion. And I would have liked Simon Goodwin and Chris Fagan to have a comment on it after the game. Lee. No, I tend to agree <laughs> with you. No big deal here. And that's why the AFL won't do anything on that. Uh,